Hey guys, good morning. Um, we're going to continue talking about the standard normal distribution today. Um, what I want to talk about is um, how we're going to apply some of these percents to some problems. Um, it's, it's a little bit tricky, um, but nothing that we really can't do. It's still just finding percents and things like that. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about today was um, you, a couple of you guys got on my case because, of course, I chose to do men's height yesterday. Um, so I'll, I'll talk about uh, the ladies' height today. Um, so just a review of what we were talking about yesterday. Um, this center number in here is going to be, sorry, the mean, median, and mode. So we're just going to call it the mean, though. But that again, for a for women in America, that is uh, 65 inches tall. Okay. Uh, and I told you guys we worked with men yesterday because they were nicer numbers. It was 70 and 4. Uh, for women, the standard deviation in height is going to be 3.5 inches. Okay. So again, 65 is our mean. Okay. That's the average height of a woman in America. Um, and let's go. I think that's 5.5, five, by the way. Um, so 65 plus 3.5 is going to equal 68.5. Right, so again, all we're doing, same thing we did yesterday, we're just going to add 68.5. So that means that 34.1% of women are going to fall on this denomination here. We'll do it again. So 72 inches, right? And if we do it one more time, we'll get a third standard deviation, which is 75.5. Now, we've only been doing... 75.5 men. Uh, we've only been doing three standard deviations, but it's important to realize that there are um, some excep exceptionally tall women out here, and there's going to be some exceptionally short women over towards this end down here. Um, so if we go ahead and we do the same thing, we're going to subtract from, either side, from 65. Again, going down, we have 61.5. Right, and if we do it again, 58 and 54.5. So we've got 58 and 54.5, okay? Um, so here's the thing, is that there are people who are shorter than this and there are people who are taller than this. Um, we typically only go out three standard deviations because the number of people, the percentage of people that are outside these are very, very small. Okay, They are the exceptionally tall, the exceptionally short people like we talked about yesterday. Okay, So here's the thing. If I said how many, how many women or what percent, I'm not, I should say how many, what percent of women are 65 inches or shorter? Okay, um, It is 50%. It is 50%. This is 50% on this side. This is 50% on this side. Um, the problem lies in the fact that if you add up all these numbers, if you add up all these numbers, if I say, hey, what's, uh, what's 34.1, 13.6, 2.1, and 0.1? Well, if you notice, if you add them all together, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, these numbers only add up to 49.9%, okay? That there are, even past this, there's another 0.1% of people, of women. So it's one of these things that we have to remember when they say, hey, how many people are up to 65 inches, including 65 inches? We're going to say 50%, okay? Um, if I said... How many women are up to 68.5 inches? Well, 68.5 inches, well, that's this 50% plus this 34.1%. So, okay, so you, you can't just add up these numbers. You have to realize that this is 50% up to here, and that would be 84 0.1% of women are up to 68.5 inches, okay? Um, again, if I said how many women are 
right here greater than 75.5 inches. Your temptation is just to say, well, it's this 0.1% out here, um, or even go a step further and say, hey, well, I know it's 0.1% plus that other 0.1% that Matt was talking about earlier. Um, if you're dealing with these specific numbers, that's kind of okay, but the problem is if you guys move on to more advanced levels of statistics, there's going to be tables and tables and tables of numbers, and you're going to have to kind of know where to start from and where to stop from. So what I would suggest for you guys for now is say, all right, well, I have to get up to this point, to get up to the third standard deviation right here, right? Now, first of all, it's not this number because that number is between here and here. We want everything here, including passed out here, including negative four, negative five, negative six standard deviations, okay? So what are we gonna say? Well, up to 65, up to my mean, that's 50%. Okay, then I've got the 34.1%, then I've got the 13.6%, and then I've got that 2.1%. Okay, so 6, 7, 8, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 99.8% of people. So again, don't trust this number because if you had taken 100% minus 0.1, you would have been off by a tenth of a percent which I know doesn't sound like much, but when you're only dealing with two tenths of a percent, you just left out half of your answer. So again, we want everything that goes up to these numbers. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at a few examples about those, and then depending on how much time we have left, uh, we will talk about how we're going to apply these percents to a population, okay? Uh, so I am going to, I do wanna keep this picture. Uh, I'm going to keep those numbers for later, just in case we need them. Okay. All right. So this is we did page one yesterday. We're talking about page two now. Okay. So a set of data has a normal distribution of mean of 5.1. So right off the bat, let's label that 5.1 right there. Oops. Heading back out. So we got 5.1 and a standard deviation of 0.9. So let's add 0.9 to that. So that's going to be 6.0, 6.9, and 7.8. Okay. Uh, subtracting, we're going to go uh, 4.2, uh, 3.3, and 2.4. So if you guys forgot from yesterday, all I did was take 5.1, Add 0 0.9, add 0 0.9, add 0 0.9, subtract 0 0.9, subtract 0 0.9, subtract 0 0.9. Again, for these numbers, you should be able to do them in your head, but if not, you know, you break up the calculator, you do it that way. Okay? So that is number 11. Check that one off. Okay? Um, find the percent of the data within each interval. So between 6.0 and 6.9. So let's go back to our table. So that's between one standard deviation and two standard deviations. So that's going to be between one standard deviation and two standard deviations. That's going to be 13.6%. So 13.6%. Greater than 6.9. So again, this is one, two standard deviations. How many are above two standard deviations? Okay, so again, let's think about this. We want up to here, right? So again, we can't just add these two numbers. We got 50% up to here. So again, up to this, this was 50% here, right? Plus, we need a 34.1%. Plus the 13.6%. Okay? So, again, if we kind of stack those and add them, again, you can break out a calculator if you want. I'll just want a calculator so you guys see. It's no big deal. We've got 50 plus 34.1. Plus 13.6. Yeah, what's that going to be? That's going to be 97.7%. Okay, so 97.7%. Again, 50, 34.1, 13.6. That will bring us um, all the way up until here. Okay. 
So what was the number? 97.7. Oh, I'm sorry. My mistake. They wanted my mistake. Sorry. We still need that number. They didn't want this side. They wanted this side. Okay. Um, we still definitely need that number though. So don't, no, no big deal there. So how many are on this side? Well, if 97.7 was on this side and 100 is the whole thing, what's 100 minus 97.7? Okay. My mistake. Sorry about that, guys. So again, we still need that number. We're going to say 100 minus 97.7. Okay. So they wanted to know what was greater than that. So that's going to be 2.3. Again, not what these two numbers add up to over here, so you can't just add those two together. So it's greater than 6.9 is going to be 2.3%. Okay, so let's run through that one more time just because I messed up. Okay, to find this amount over here, well, we know the whole thing is 100%, right? Um, but again, we know adding all these together, we found out that over here, this section over here, this is 97.7. Well, what plus 97.7 is going to add up to 100%? Well, again, if you need to think about it algebraically, if you know that x plus 97.7 is equal to 100, then you know that x has to be whatever is left over when I subtract that 97.7 from 100. Okay? Again, like I said, that's not this number that's out here, um, and I know the temptation is just to add that point one. But we're really working on those skills that we're going to use at the next level, and you're not going to—it's not going to be that simple. We talked about a little bit yesterday that these standard deviations get broken down into smaller portions and things like that. Okay, um, you know, it might not be two standard deviations; it might be two and a half. Uh, in which case, we're still going to have to have that skill. Okay, so how many between 4.2 and 6.0? So that's one standard deviation below to one standard deviation above. Um, so one standard deviation below, one standard deviation above. Um, actually, they were nice enough. They, they give us that number, 68.2%, right? So from here to here, again, just to see where they got that number, it's you know, pretty straightforward. One standard deviation below was 34.1, and one standard deviation above was 34.1. That's 68.2 percent. Okay, less than 4.2. So to find less than 4.2, we have to do a similar thing that we did before. So they want to know less than 4.2. Well, 4.2 is less than one standard deviation this way. Okay, so they want to know from here over, right? Well, again, what are we going to do? Well, if this whole thing is 100%, okay, we need to find out what this is right here. Well, we have 50% going this way plus that. 34.1%, okay? We're going to get this number, and we're going to subtract it from 100. So all we'll have is this part left. So again, 50 plus 34.1, that's going to be 84.1, and 100 minus 84.1. Again, you can use your calculator if you need to. It's going to be 15.9%. Okay, and again, that's 13.6, 14.15.7, 15.8. Again, leaves you a little short changed. Okay, so again, what do we do? We found this side subtracted from 100%. We got 15.9%. Okay, less than 5.1. Well, 5.1 is our mean. What's less than that? Pretty straightforward. It's going to be 50% on this side and 50% on this side, right? So uh, how many are less than that? 50%. Okay. And how many fall between 4.2 and 5.1? Well, that's one standard deviation below. 
again, the more you do these, the more you'll be familiar with that number. It's going to be 34.1%, right? So one standard deviation below, again, is going to go from here to here. What is that? 34.1%. Okay, uh, and that's that, that's about all we need to really cover for today. Is pretty much how to get those numbers. Um, what I'd like you guys to do for number eighteen, uh, don't worry about the two hundred thirty tests. I want you guys to make yourself a little bell curve, seventy six with ten with a standard deviation of ten. So again, what is that? It's going to be seventy six. Uh, plus 10 will be what 86 96 106 and going down 66 56 46 okay uh, and what I'd like to see you guys do tonight is go ahead and just say find out the percentages okay we'll worry about how we're gonna apply this to the number of tests but hey find the percentages for a B and C okay just go ahead find uh, the percentages okay so it says, how many students score above 96? Well, I just need to know what percentage of students score above 96. Okay. Um, it asks, uh, how many students score below 66? Okay, so what's this percentage down here? We'll take those percentages today, and tomorrow we'll talk about how we're going to apply them to the actual numbers. Uh, chances are, if you got this far, that really shouldn't be too much of a jump. You guys might, some of you guys might be able to do that. But for tonight, just do A, B, and C. Try and figure out what the percentages are for those three questions, and we'll apply them tomorrow. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later.